everybody, my name is Sirkaz and welcome to Rock. This game is currently on early, early access if you want to call it. Um, it's going to be released later this month in May. I think the 12th if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's been made available and I got the privilege to be uh, able to get access to it. Now this is a, a survival uh, building uh, PvP game uh, that uh, we can have private servers and we will have private servers. Um, and actually the Gang Z group, which I play other games with, we are going to have a server. We're going to play together and stuff. But this is basically a Mars survival game. Let's uh, try to pick a server here with uh, as low as ping as possible. I think this one will do. Nobody there. Um, there's a magnetic storm. Select safe sector for landing. Can only uh, have one colonist per server. We got to choose a sector here, I guess. Um, there's no rivers in Mars. Oh, surface raw materials. That's good. Hi, these, these have more materials. So there's going to be a lot of, um, uh, ore veins and stuff like that, which you will need in order to be able to do basically anything. This is, this is a b base building game. Uh, there's not a lot of, uh, as far as I know, a lot of PVE, uh, type of, uh, environment. Um, but you will fight the elements because you'll need oxygen. You'll need uh, to protect yourself from radiation. You'll need to protect yourself from just the elements in general. And uh, if you guys have seen uh, the Martian, <laughs> life on Mars is pretty miserable. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited about this game. Uh, I like space-based games. I've played Astroneer in the past. Uh, there's a few other games that I've played in the past of this genre. There's a few others that I want to play as well. Um, but I'm really excited about this game because it seems to have the dimension needed for a game of this type. Uh, anybody that knows, like, space games are not easy to do. Uh, and uh, we've learned from experience, even uh, last year, uh, there was a big failure, big famous failure. Um, but I like space games and I'm excited for this game. I'm excited to play with friends as well. So, seems like we're almost ready. Um... I like it. I think one of the reasons why I'm interested in this game is because the building seems to be pretty cool. So you have these small squares um, and uh, you can build out. So, by the way, let me mention something. Uh, even though there's it's a PvP game, um, the, in, in, even though there's no not a lot of PvE, the PvP is pretty interesting because you build bases and you have to cooperate to work together. And there's computers and all this stuff. Anyway, let's get going here. Uh, welcome to Rock. This is, by the way, how we pronounce this. I don't know if it's uh, initials for anything, but Rock is how it's pronounced. Early access part of the early access you will not receive. You will receive at appropriate times notifications like this one, which provide you information on how to use the different, the different, the various features in Survive on Mars. When you receive a notification, you see an icon like this one. Press the associated hockey T. All right. Okay. Here we are. Uh, frame rate is surprisingly good. Um, you know, I, a lot of early access games, it's pretty terrible in order to like the, the initial, um, the, the initial frame rate of the game. It's like, oh, it's going to be optimized. Ooh, that was a, what do I have on me? Inventory. Can I, can I check my inventory? Oh, there's a light. That's neat. I think I is the inventory. It is. All right. So what do I have here? What's this? Can I see? Yep. Emergency screwdriver. Um, oh, that stays there. I can't seem to uh, to leave that. Can I run? I can shift to run and I lose my crosshair, which is fine. Whoa, this is pretty cool. The, uh, the gravity is pretty awesome. Is there anything here that I should take out? I can't really interact with it, apparently. Um... Let's look for habitat, some sort of uh, survival uh, base structure of some sort. Interesting. There's like, these are things that I can mine, but I don't have the necessary uh, tools to do it. Let's open T to go to inventory or to the, go to the tutorial. Uh, due to atmospheric interference, we can only ship a very basic inventory with you on arrival, on your arrival. Your tool belt comes with... Uh, comes equipped with an emergency tool that can be used for crafting. It can be accessed by pressing the corresponding hotkey one. Its combat function is activated with a left click and the secondary function, for example, crafting with a right click. 
Can I uh, check something else? Okay, another information there. Inventory. The backpack contains all the items carried by the colonist. They can be moved by dragging them from one slot to another, including onto the tool belt or a sub inventory slot. You can uh, you can also quickly move items into the backpack by left clicking on that item. All right, so if I bring back my inventory. I have a rod. Uh, I'm running out of oxygen. <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, I have a suit battery, a spike. Interesting. Can I put this here? Open. Durability. Crafted by hammer and metal process. Oh, I think these are the things that I can craft. Okay. Nothing to see here. Whoa. A little frame drop there. What is this? Is this something I can interact with? Did it say something? It did at one point. Click something open. Did you guys see that on the top screen there? Oh. Press T to open. Flashlight. The knights can get there to Mars. I know that. How do I open this? Oh, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. All right, I'm giving up. Like, honestly, I even bounced to the to the main menu. I think those are the things that I need to go for. Um, these crates. Uh, these are the chests that were sent with me. But I don't seem... E. This one I was able to. Uh, do I move into my inventory? Yes. So I have extra oxygen. That's good. Does it... Yeah, it turns off. Whoa! Okay, up there. Come on. Come on. E. I got some drinking water, some dried mangoes. That's a good option. I love mangoes. Oh, this is kind of cool. So we have all of these chests, basically, uh, with things that should be able to give us. What did I do? No. Oh, I can filter. Oh, that, that's nice. I can filter. Uh, let's see if there's anything else that we need to grab. There is, um, whoa, frame drop. There is a surprisingly, like, quietness to the game. Um, to be completely honest, I was kind of... Oh, did I pick this up already? Um, I was expecting music, I think. It's so, so quiet. Um, we, we need to make a pickaxe. And some basic tools, which we can do our uh, screwdriver. Uh, granted, we have materials. There's more over there. Oh, now it works for some reason. There's a bar and there's a rod. Gosh, I keep trying to move um, before I close my inventory. and It doesn't work. We got an extra emergency screwdriver. That's pretty handy, I guess. Are we full inventory-wise? All right, so let's do this. Let's bring back my my screwdriver. There we go. Uh, let's try to make a pickaxe. Uh, we need a spike, which I know we do have. Oops. No, 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 no. Come on. Spike. A blade. Do we have a blade? No, we don't have a blade. No, no, no. Wait a second. A rod. Oh, this is the map. Oh, wait a second. We had information here. Uh, assembly tools allow for parts and components to be combined together to form new, more complex items. Assembly tools either deal with creating usable items or components, which acts as ingredients for other recipes. The crafting interface displays a list of items that can be created with the current tool. Okay. The crafting interface displays a list of items that can be crafted with the current tool. Roger that. So, uh, hold shift while moving an item to split. I don't want to move an item. I want to part it, uh, craft it by hammer or metal press. I was assuming, do I? No, 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 I do not. No, I do not want to delete. Oh, I can make a, these are upgrades. I can, I get that. I, I can, I can totally get behind that, but I'm trying to figure out how to move items from here to here. So you'd assume that this is now it worked. Now it worked. Okay. There's a little craft time. I'm still missing music. This game needs music. Awesome. 
We have a pickaxe. It's on number two. So now I'm assuming we can go mine. I gotta admit, it does look gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And again, it's still early, early access, so I'm giving a little, uh, a little bit of discount with the fact that I can't even hear myself walking. <laughs> Surface extra extraction, let's mini map. Uh, waypoints can be placed, that's cool, by pressing the desired area of the map. The waypoint can be projected onto the helmet's HUD. This is epic, including a distance. The waypoint can be disabled by pressing it a second time. Cool. Now, surface extraction. Mars has number of natural resources scattered across its surface. Colonists can extract these materials with a suitable tool, such as a pickaxe, which we got, bros. Let's do this. Oh. Am I getting more, or is it... Uh See a little indicator? I can't tell if... Oops. I. I in the inventory. So what did we get? We got iron. We get 170. So if I do it again... 100, yeah, we're getting more. Okay. I'm guessing that iron is important. So I'm going to get as much as I can until the problem depletes this. Um... A little detail. I don't know about weight, and I don't know about if I can make another. Um, let's get this screwdriver. Oh, I just waved. Uh, how can I make another spike in a rod? Because if I run out of my pick, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> Crafted by hammer or metal press. Crafted by hammer or metal. So we probably should make a hammer. Which needs a bar and a rod. Enter number only one. There we go. Let's craft a hammer. I think that's going to be important, honestly. Yeah, we got the hammer. Let's put it on our inventory. No. Why would I delete it? The the hitboxes and the kind of the the way it fits is not my favorite. I'll be honest. There we go. So now I can make. Was it a rod and a spike? It needs which meets the required stats. Can I put this here? I want to say one. Oh, I need twenty four. I get that. Did I move 407? <laughs> kind of did. 24, yes. There we go. I was going to make a lot of rods. Craft. And then there's a spike, which needs 20 malleable. Any material which meets the required stats. If you notice, it had those three. I remember the iron had those three. So that's how I kind of assumed. Why? <laughs> Seriously, I, don't, I did not make... Enter the number. Thank you. I just want 20, bros. So let's put this here. And sorry I'm saying bros so much. It's not normal. I do not say bros that often. But I wish the game had music, honestly. Okay. So now that we have that, I can go back to my number one. Right click it. And I can mother, um, double. Ooh. Let's do that. Back to this. Another, it's another spike. Let's make a second spike. Uh, where's our spike here? And I need more iron, 20 of them. No, this is definitely buggy. The first time that I move, it moves all of them. Okay, let's make one more. This should allow us to make a reinforce or a double. Our oxygen's not great though, holy crap. Okay, we have two. Press one. Right click. Again, I'm super relaxed because I don't think there's a... No, no, no. One. Spike. One. Spike. Make it double. And rod. Wait a second. Notice there's an S rod and an M rod. I have two S rods, which they don't seem to stack. I don't have any M rods. I wonder what the M is. 
Probably has to do with the durability or something. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's see if we can finally get the extra screwdriver here. No, 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 I'm gonna keep it here. Let's look at the other elements. I remember seeing another uh, mineable thing. Is that another chest? I think it is. We should go check it first. And whoa, frame rate drop there. Um, and seriously sad that there's no music. <laughs> I I'm sure that the game will have music when it's released. Oh, more oxygen. We definitely need more oxygen. There we go. I feel like it used more than it should have, but it could be just me. Okay, that's iron two. This one, this one is the one we saw. Gotcha. Raw material, nickel. Okay, let's press T to figure out this. Uh, manufacturing tool allows for parts to be created from materials. Most parts are used as ingredients. Got it, but some parts, okay. Uh, suit energy, the suit's onboard AI. Projects a percentage of its battery mining power into the helmet's hut. Okay. This does not seem safe, and I'm so sorry that there's no music. I feel like the game has no sound somehow. And I can't get to my settings from here either. That is so sad. I don't know if I should go after these things or go up there. My frame rate dropped too. One of them dropped. Oh, were these things here before? Was this one here? I didn't see it. Oxygen. Thank you. Ooh. Okay, get out. I feel like. There's no environmental sounds. And why am I walking straight into the explosions? <laughs> oh, 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 there's more. Oh, Lord. I'm going to get hit by one of those, aren't I? Oh, my suit energy is super low. I wonder if there's a way to make energy. How do I restore this? Suit battery. I have more here. Got it. I can use it all the way down and then make this. Now, let's get my trusty. Oh, I see. M rod. It's the same thing, but it needs more iron here. Let's craft one. I'll feel much better once once I have to. Holy. Holy crap. I want to get to these other things, though. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Will it stop? Oh, gosh. Okay. I'm still going to... Did it disappear? I don't know if it disappeared or not. I want to get to this thing up here for sure. It does feel like what's happening now is trying to get my attention over here. So we're going to... We're going to do what uh, any sane human being would not do, which is... I hear that. It feels like, oh, the, the frame rate just went down the drain after this started. Ooh, there's more. Oh, oh. Oh, Lord. More oxygen. That's good. More dry mangoes. That's fantastic. Get out, please. Is this something I can rebuild? I hope so. More oxygen, more dried mangoes. I think I will not starve. I could, I could be wrong. Oh, this is so cool. Fuel, 99. What's the fuel all about? Oh, I jumped all over. So is this something I can build on? There's another um, box here. Let's go get it. Oops. Beef jerky. Oh, yeah. Mint cake. Hello. We we totally have our... Uh, this has energy. Oh, it charges us. Can I open this door? No. Press E to use. 
Livingstone Survey Station. Transcribe your last voice transmission made to recipient ESA at Gaia Station. They reported seeing a small group of outside the habitat. He wasn't able to identify them. We don't know who they are, what they're doing outside, or which mission they're part of. I know we are the new kids on the surface, so maybe this is the norm. But regulations say that all transit through occupied space be logged in advance. Should I report this? Okay, what do I do? That's the last transmission. There's, I, there's guns in this game. I can't continue here. It's like a hard wall. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it's a bug or it's one of those invisible walls that some games put in. So you don't go to places that you're not supposed to. Uh, I don't like that. But let's continue going around here. And I'm going to keep this episode real short, which is already almost half an hour. But uh, the goal is just to take a first look, get some impressions about the gameplay uh, as I join the server. Like this is a, a public server. There's nobody else here right now. I know that this game kind of uh, part of the game is to be able to uh, build our own stations and uh, build up defenses and build up uh, machinery and guns and stuff and kind of like defend ourselves from other PvP uh, players. So I'm looking forward to do some do stuff like that. Uh, like I said, I think the Gang Z gang, <laughs> the Gang Z crew uh, wants to play this together. So that'd be really cool because we can have our gangs. Uh, be playing this game together. I think that's going to be really, really cool. Can I jump over this? And will I get stuck? YOLO. Oh, wait a second. I have jetpack. I just realized that's what that is. Uh, dr more dried mangoes. I'll take it. More beef jerky. Yeah. Heck yeah. So I have a jetpack. Oh, that's fan freaking fantastic. I love it. I love it. I was having issues getting up on stuff. There we go. Let's get this one. Um, so first impressions. I just want to give my first impressions on the game. Again, the game is in early, early access. It got an update today that allowed, um, like, it didn't even have an intro when I opened the game ye yesterday or earlier today. Um, but I, th the game looks good. It had a few uh, frame drops um, when I was playing. You saw them. Uh, I'm like, it looks like Mars, like from everything that we know about Mars, it looks like Mars. Uh, and I'm excited to see what the building really is. This game definitely, or this episode definitely didn't have building uh, because it's way, way, way too early to have building. But that's actually one of the parts of the game that I'm the most excited about. Oh, there's a lot of boxes here. I should probably check those out. What is this? Is this nickel? Nickel. Yeah, we already got some. Okay. Um, I think... The, a big part of this game is actually the building. Uh, they really talk about that as being something that they put effort into and it has a lot of flexibility. Everything is in small tiles. Uh, and I'll have more videos potentially tomorrow. I'll try to do uh, some solo videos until the, we get our server ready. Um, just getting to know the game, getting to know better, like first impressions and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm definitely excited about having a new survival game uh, those of you who've been with the channel for a long time or know me know that I like survival games. I think those are awesome, especially when they put a big emphasis on uh, building because that's what, for me, it's fun on a survival game. Emergency screwdriver. There's another one there. Huh. Um, that's one of the things that I find the most interesting in games is the ability to build. Uh, oh, another generator here. I think I think uh, this is going to be interesting. We I think we got a good spawn. Um, it seems like at least. I don't know if this is normal or not, but we had a couple of generators already. Um, and I'm going to keep moving along here, but I'll cut this episode right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this was the first look at Rock, um, early access game. Uh, release date is uh, May the 12th, I believe. Uh, please confirm that. I'll have that in the description down below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys stick around. This is going to be a fun series, and that's going to eventually switch over to being a multiplayer series uh, with friends. And so that is something that I'm extremely excited about as well. Hope you guys are too. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye. Ooh, I can't mind this one, can I? Probably needs a different tool. Ha! Bye.